Hey guys, John Davenport here from philgarabli.com with another Let's Edit video. This week we're gonna do just a simple edit on this photograph. Um, mainly just cleaning it up and getting it ready for uh, posting on my website. It's just a, a quick uh, little edit today. Um, first thing I'm gonna do is go to an 8, eight by 10 crop. Uh, I think it helps to position the flower better and it removes some of this uh, kind of empty space at the top of the frame there so that's the reason I'm going with an 8x10 for this particular photo. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is come in and get rid of this dragonfly. Uh, it's kind of cool that he's there but when I'm zoomed out you can barely tell that he's on the flower and it almost kind of looks like a distraction. Um, feel free to comment and let me know what you guys think about it. Um, but in general, I'm just going to mute that so you don't hear any more of my emails coming through. Um, uh, just so that you, you can let me know in the comments what you think. Um, let's just get rid of this. Because I think it'll look better without, without that distraction there. So that's just a very quick removal. Um, if you didn't know he was there, you wouldn't be able to tell. The only other thing I'm going to remove is uh, this flower uh, leaf here, so let's uh, do that as well really quickly. Um, this one might be a little bit more challenging because it is kind of in an area that has a lot going on, there's a lot of different things and you kind of don't want that. You want to be able to have that uh, texture there where the, the lily pads are meeting the water. So it's kind of going to be a, a tricky one. But let's see how well we can get this to look. Um, switch over to a clone, is it better? Not particularly. Okay, so we need to go maybe along, maybe along here. So I'm just cleaning up around that edge there. Hopefully we can get it. I really don't like how Lightroom just picks like the most random area sometimes when you're doing this clone tool. Like why would it pick all the way over there when most of this stuff looks exactly the same as what I'm trying to clone. So that looks a lot better. Um, it's not perfect again, but um, I think it's I think it's fine. And actually I'm thinking about removing this as well. So this should be pretty easy. I can just do a nice block thing there and then come down and maybe reach that side. That's good. So we've kind of removed some of the distractions. I've left uh, quite a few in, like there's still, you know, plenty of debris on the lily pads. There's uh, some uh, smaller leaves over there. There's one up here. So there's still plenty of distraction here or plenty of context uh, it doesn't look like it's like staged or anything I'm just kinda cleaning up some of the bigger elements to help focus on this flower in the center of the frame so now we just need to go through our basic edits and you can see here this was shot at ISO 500 130 millimeters f5.6 and 1 1,000th of a second um, so it's pretty nicely exposed. We have uh, a nice even histogram here, almost exactly where you would expect like the standard histogram to look like. Uh, I'm just going to add a little bit of contrast, uh, maybe drop the highlights a little, which will help remove some of that glare. I'm actually going to drop them all the way down, um, and that's just removing some of that glare from the uh, lily pads there. Um, and then maybe just a touch of clarity, not too much here. I'm just going plus point uh, plus fifteen there. Um, I am going to add some vibrance to get that color to kind of pop. So that's looking pretty good. Uh, we've come quite a ways from our original photo. You can see we've added a little bit of life with those uh, basic adjustments. We've just moved a couple of sliders here. We added a bit of contrast, lowered the highlights, added some clarity and vibrance, and you can see that it's really brought the photo to life. And then just removing uh, those three distractions have really cleaned up the overall image quite a bit as well. Uh, one other thing that I'm going to look at is just the white balance here. If I add a little bit of warmth, what happens? And I kind of like that. The greens start to get just that warm glow to them. The yellow uh, starts to really um, have a nice 
impact there as well. So I'm liking that quite a bit. Um, let's see here. I guess the last thing we would want to do is come down and make sure we have some good details. So let's sharpen this photo up. I'm going to go uh, maybe about 70 or so, which is about halfway. This slider goes to 150. So I'm going about halfway on the amount slider. Uh, the radius slider, I'm going to go until I start to see um, those edges come out there. Pretty nice detail slider again I want that probably close to halfway maybe a little lower then and then masking what I'm looking for here is I really just want the the harder of the lines to be sharpened um, so if you're holding your option key or your alt key if you're on a Windows PC down the black is basically not being sharpened and then anything that's outlined in white is those edges are going to be sharpened so if I remove that, you can see our lily pads are nice and sharp, have nice clean edges there, and I think this looks a whole lot better than the original photograph. Um, all in all, I think this is a pretty simple, straightforward edit. Uh, like I said in the beginning, this is just kind of going through the process of cleaning up an image, getting it ready to post on the website. Uh, I hope you liked this uh, short little video. If you did, do please click the like button below on YouTube. It helps Fugaropathy get spread around YouTube. And if this is your first visit to Fugaropathy on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe. As always, I will see you again soon. Bye for now.